Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, Improv Punch I can't believe 500,000 people showed up. 500,000 people. Madison Square Garden! (laughs) (laughs) Guys, it's the first live improv punch up podcast ever. We've never performed in front of a bunch of people. 500,000. 500,000. Wow. That's a lot. That's this a lot. Is amazing. Guys, we are the Improv Punch Up, brought to you by Pod Cavern, a really fun <laughs> podcasting network where we make ideas come true. <laughs> We're like Willy Wonka for your ears. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Thank you. Leslie, uh, what is the Improv Punch Up? Great question, Tong. The Improv Punch Up is a podcast where we take uh, uh, clips from movies, TV shows, video games, whatever the hell we want. Whatever. Really. Whatever we want. And uh, the, the big wig studios, the Hollywood studios, they have hired us and our special guests this evening. Yep, yep. They have hired us to improve classic movie clips because they're, they just aren't good enough. There's they're so not many good. bad they movies. Good yeah. So, for instance, we'll take a classic movie line like um, <clears throat> You have my sword and my bow and my axe. And then we'll use our improv skills to punch that up like this. Uh, here's my multi-tool, and I can borrow my dad's car, and uh, can you boogie board at all? So much better. See? That's what that yeah. movie and needed. sometimes it doesn't work out. <laughs> okay, well, I thought, I thought it turned out okay. It's pretty good. It was fine. It's not bad. You know, not your best work, Angus. Uh, how's everyone doing? <laughs> Woo! You guys aren't ready to go home, are you? It's 11 it's o'clock. It's 11 o'clock it's 11 on a o'clock. Friday. Hey, Friday guys, night. you're really screwing this up for us. We said there were 500,000 people here. <laughs> <laughs> so let's try that again. You're not ready to go home yet, are you? <sighs> that was ah, good. The that was... sheer thunder. I can feel that. <laughs> My ears are bleeding. Um, guys, I think we should get to our first guest I and think our so. first clip. Please put your hands together. And welcome to the stage, DJ Danger Mouse Mausner! Give it up! Woo! We can't take it no more! One, two, three, in the place to be. MF Doom, Tyler Thank you so much, DJ. DJ. Oh, here we go. Now we have a drink coming for you. Where's we our have beer? a beer boy. Beer boy. Beer boy. Beer boy. Beer boy. Uh, beer boy. Hey, beer boy. Listeners at home really love that. The blonde. Bring the blonde. Bring the I'm right here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first. It's Thank you very much, beer boy. Give it up for our beer boy, everybody. Give it up for beer boy. Boy. That's Roy Roy the beer boy. Roy Roy the beer boy. <laughs> they, all he does is sling beer. Yeah, it's yes, all he does, all he does, does a living. Sling shot beer. For. Yes. DJ. Yes. We wanna. We, we're, we're really glad to have you here, and we we just wanted to you know get to know you a little bit. So, mm-hmm. when did you learn to ride a bike? Um, it took a couple tries. Really? Which try do you want to know? The uh, fourth. The fourth try, yeah. Okay, well, there was four tries, so oh, thank shit. you. Oh, shit. Is that the one you nailed it on? I did, yeah. Nice. Um, that try was in Toronto, Ontario, in a park. Never heard of it. In lot. <laughs> And a, in a parking a park lot. A ing lot. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I uh, was riding my bike, and um, I really thought that I had done it, but my mom was running behind with two fingers under the back seat to make sure uh, I didn't teeter over. What a mom. That's such a She's good great. mom. Uh, Give it Julia, up for moms. Give it up Give for it up DJ's for moms. moms. What's your mom's yeah. name? Julia Mazur, and she's definitely listening oh, to this. Oh, Julia. So. Julia? Julia. Julia? Shout out to Julia. Julia. You did Shout good. Julia. Awesome. Good. Well, let's get to our first clip now yes. that we now got to you know. know everything you now we know, know all we need to know about you and Julia. Yes. Um, and we're going to get to our first clip. I brought this one, I think, right? Yes, you did. All right, well, let's get it planned. Uh, any setup for it, Angus? <laughs> no, zero no. setup. <laughs> well, I was going to let it speak for itself, but if you must know, it's from a little movie called Star Wars. Never heard of it. Episode of it. three, Revenge of the Sith. That's the my, best oh, one. That's my favorite one. And honestly, guys, they, they brought this, the executives brought this one to us, and they said, please fix this movie. And I thought, you know what? Th- this movie's perfect. It doesn't need to be fixed. But I guess we'll try. Here so we go. Let's take a look at it. Revenge of the Sith. Let's take a look. Viewer, never seen this movie. Oh, perfect. 
So we have, uh, can we get the volume up? So he's got, he's got a hoverboard. Yeah, it's yes. basically uh, a hoverboard. Over a volcano planet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, your, it's your classic, it's your classic, uh, uh, people fighting in a volcano planet scene. Is this Shark Boy in Lava Girl? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it might it be. Is exactly. It's technically. Ewan McGregor and Lava Ewan McGregor. Girl. <laughs> it is, it is the prequel. It Look, is the prequel. Oh, Lava Girl's so, uh, I have failed you, Anakin. I have failed you. Oh, I should have known the Jedi were plotting to take over. Anakin, Chancellor Palpatine is evil. Wow, that My green screen does Jedi not age well. well. It does, does not. It? Well, then you are lost. He's like a level in half. Like it guy. is exactly that. But also, they're like surfing. Yeah. It's a little bit of like Blue Crush as I well. I want to hear some Beach Boys in here. That's this funny. is the end for yeah. my master. Ooh, <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Oh. 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 Uh, see, and I, I think that's aged real well. Stuck the landing. Well, yeah, he's got like Nine a ten. That's right. Anakin actually placed at the Olympics. Yeah. But then he was eliminated for having a robot head. And he's from Russia. So and he's, he's also from Russia. He's so this is my favorite part of the scene. All right, here we go. Here we go. One it's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. Classic. Oh, wow, yeah, literally. Yeah. What a way with her. You yeah. underestimate my power. That's a mess. Don't try it. <laughs> don't do it, Anakin. Don't, don't, you, don't, don't try do it, Anakin. Just, 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 just. <laughs> Fuck your arm. And leg. Wow. Yeah. Arm and legs? What was that? A, a yeah, yeah. parabola? <gasps> yeah, it was like an arc. It's a parabolic arc, okay. actually. I'm going and that's it. That's the first clip. Uh, what did you guys say? a round of applause. Right? That's the right? whole movie. It's perfect. Right? It doesn't need to be changed. But, uh, but yeah, I, li I like how you picked up on the very clear, subtle metaphor that Obi Wan has the moral high ground. Yeah. Because oh. he, he, he said oh. it. It was helpful that he said yeah, it aloud. Yeah. He should have like, said I that. I like when my sub <laughs> my, when my subtext is spoken. Yeah, I like yeah. when my subtext is. Everyone text. knows a Jungian archetype is actually just someone saying, "Hey, this is what's up." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the whole thing. So, so what you're saying is maybe this movie could have been more upfront. Yeah, more it obvious. should have been more obvious with those okay. metaphors. I think they should have explained them a bit more. Okay. Okay. That's what I wanted as a viewer. Okay, cool. All right, cool. Let's, let's, give give a little punch. let's give a little punch punch. Punch up. We take you now to a volcano planet. Magma is bubbling. And Yakety Sax is playing. <laughs> and Anakin and Obi-Wan are staring deeply into each other's eyes. Oi, I'm on my other board, so don't get too close to me. That's English, right? Don't get too <laughs> close to me. Hey, I don't think you're very nice. I'm not <laughs> nice. I'm right. Oh. Shring, shring. That's oh. my laser beam. I'll take out my laser beam, too. Uh, me, uh, Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> That is what this scene needed. I got Jar -Jar. lost on this planet. <laughs> Jar Jar, what are you doing? Don't embarrass me. I'm fighting my metaphorical father. I do everything but go short of calling him father. Oh, <sighs> Jar Jar. <laughs> uh. I see you, uh, you've brought some people. I'm, I'm, I'm moving through the states here now. I see you've brought some people with I'm you. I'm the reinforcements. Uh. Hey, I'm Chad. Oh, this Chad. Is, he's on my team. This guy's on my team. Come on, Chad. I thought we were cool. Uh, I, uh, I don't want to get into From it, From my man. point of view, Chad is evil. We see Chad is, like, really trying to get a handle on this hoverboard, but he's kind of yeah. like, whoop, whoop, whoop. He is. He's How does really this flipping thing work? back and forth. How does this thing just, work? Just stand up. Just it's stand, balanced. Stand, all all the hoverboards balance. I have have wheels. Oh it's like God, a Segway. Just keep moving. That's Lava not a hoverboard. just missing him. Lava's just, <laughs> yeah. just grazing him, but you're just missing him. Anakin, I've had enough. I'm standing on a big, tall rock because my will is as strong as granite. Oh, shit. And quite frankly, I've had enough of this poor behavior. Huh? I failed you, but now you are failing me. And here's a test with an F on it to prove it. <gasps> oh. uh, space algebra. Uh. I wish that you could be better. I just want to tutor you. <laughs> you can see that by this long stick I'm holding in my hand. It's a ruler. It's a yardstick? I, I want you to be able to measure up to what we all know you can do. And then, I, and then he turns to the camera and he just winks really big. <laughs> and he gives kind of like a long Jim Halbert pause. face. Like oh, long, yeah. Like, mm. Yeah, it's like the... It's actually... They, they got... Uh, they got... What's his name from The Office to play him in that shot? Yeah, what's his Thank face? You, yeah. Thank you, Krasinski. Thank you. John Krasinski, thank you. 
dun, 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 and then just smash cut back to what was going on. We cut to the office starring uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> Hey, hey, Obi, Obi Wan, it's me, your coworker, Dwight Trude. Yeah, what is it? I like beets and bears, and a third thing that starts with B. <laughs> Battlestar Galactica. Pa- wow, Pam's yelling from a desk. Pam. Pam. Which played one? by played by Jar Jar Binks. Oh hey, <laughs> it's a me, Jar Jar Pam. <laughs> Pam Pam Jaw. We should say that everyone is taking to camera. Yeah. At this point, yes. everyone is just looking at the no, camera. No characters are facing each other. They're all facing their own individual mm-hmm. camera. That's There's correct. a shot of Stanley doing a crossword, and then we just go back to someone else doing <laughs> mm. paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> we go. We uh, we cut to like uh, a te- those those individual interviews. And the talking a, head. Yeah. The talking head and Anakin's in there, just you know, really wringing his hands about how he doesn't like the way the office is set up, and he wants to overthrow the power. Uh, I wear a black glove on my robotic hand to show my descent into madness. The more a machine I become, the less human I am. Is it clear enough to you people? I. I don't like pay. One sec- Hello, I'm doing a thing in here. Sorry, did you put my sta- <laughs> did you put my stapler in Jello? Oh come on, it was a goof. <laughs> I did it like a goof. All right, I'm going back to my desk. We cut back to the office, and uh, Chad arrives. <laughs> hey, I'm Chad. I'm an, I'm uh, I'm a new page. <laughs> here at the office. Is that a paper joke? Are you making a paper joke? Uh, yes, uh, I'm an author. <laughs> and I would like to, I'm submitting writing to this office. I just want you to buy it. All right, book. let's hear it then. Well, it's, it's a silly idea. Yeah, you know what? I, I, yeah, I don't want, I'm Jar not Jar Binks no, love silly. I'm no, Jar Jar's gonna... right. Let's hear him out. <laughs> All right, fine. It's, it's about a war. Go on. But it's not just any war. Uh-huh. And it doesn't take place on this earth. Where and when does it take place? Well, it takes place in the stars, my dear boy. <laughs> I'm listening. How long ago? Uh, long, long ago. And not even and where? In, and not even here. In like, I don't know. If I had to put a phrase to it, a galaxy. <laughs> it's like far. How, How far? far? How far? How far? far! far! Away! You're hired. You're, you're and cut. <laughs> and cut. And cut. Wow. See, that's how we do it, people. And finally, that movie, that scene. I don't know. Even uh, though it's perfection, I think we. I, I think, think we, we made it a little made it bit better. better. I think and we, we, did. we have to. We have to thank DJ. Thank you very much for helping. Give us. it up for Give DJ, DJ Master, everybody! Thank you. Cheers. Thank you, boys, and thank, thank you. you to the beer boy. Thank you, beer boy. Thank you, beer boy. Thank you very much, we, DJ. I have a feeling we haven't seen the last of the beer boy. Yes, yes. Yeah. Guys, that went well, I think. That was that good. Went, that went really well. That I went had, really well. I had fun. Yeah. Uh, Angus, if you were to launch a war in the stars, um, why? <laughs> I don't know. And when? Probably, well, I'm glad you asked that. That makes me more invested. I would do it right now, in this very moment, and I would do it to bring... Uh, to bring laughter to the people. Oh, I and thought- the best way to bring laughter is through violence <laughs> wow. in space with lasers. I thought you were seamlessly transitioning. You're like, I'm, I'm going to bring no, it's not my stuff. No, no, our it's next a- guest up. No, I'll no. do that. I brought the I'll last guest that. up. I don't have to do All that. right, Tong, introduce our next guest. It's time. Wait, it's wait, time. We're just talking about the stars. And by talking about the stars, we can talk about a bang. A big one. <laughs> oh, a big bang. A big bang. A big one. Uh, please welcome to the stage, David, the destroyer of lawyers, Sawyer. Boom! Give it up! (laughs) Party people, in the place to be, Uh it's about that time! Ah! Dave Sawyer, everybody! Dave Sawyer, give it up! Of of the wonderful team, Big Bang. Hello, hello, hello. Oh my God, Dave! Should we mm. call the beer boy? Dave, would you like to call? Well, the you beer can boy? call the beer boy. Well, I, I didn't know that I was authorized. I thought you guys. No, no. Yeah, you know what? No, 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 no. We're no. gonna let you do it. This but time. you have to do it as condescendingly as yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. I want you to show no respect to this beer boy. Uh, I mean, I'll do what I can. The beer boy. Oh, and oh here God. comes the beer boy, everybody. <laughs> it's the beer boy. Everyone, throw your garbage at him. Roy, Roy, the beer boy. Oh, and he is a none too pleased. That's okay. He's gonna, Oh, okay. we may have overstepped yeah, our boundaries we, with the beer boy. No such thing. Yeah. No I such feel thing. bad for the beer boy. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to. 
Uh, David, we want to get to know you because we yeah. Look, really I've just got a met. bicycle story. If you, <laughs> you have want. a bicycle story? Absolutely. True story. I was learning to ride a bike and getting comfortable. This honestly happened. I was riding a bike, opened my mouth, and a bee flew into my mouth and stung my tongue. A bee. A yeah. B- which? And, <laughs> and my grandma was riding with me, and the bee stung my tongue. And it same bike, different bike. That. Was she on a different bike, or was she on the same bike? Oh, it was a different bike. Different bike, yeah. okay. Well, Shouldn't ride fine. on a bike with your grandma. Well, tandem. And that's how the B movie started. <laughs> <laughs> the famous Jerry Seinfeld vehicle, the B movie. And that's the clip we're going to watch today. No. Oh, it's thank not. God. It's not, it's not. Uh, but what, we, what clip are we going to watch? You, you want to know. You want to know what clip. Yeah, that's kind of the reason that's, why we're that's all That's why here we're talk. here. Guys... I have a movie from 1994 about a wow. special facial decoration. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> you called fucking fool. The Mask. The Mask. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. interesting, interesting. Uh, I'm going to cut to the end of the movie because the end of the movie is garbage. The, the, yeah, that's everything the one else that leading the up to the end was the most really work. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh, we're cutting it to the end where uh, we have a young Jim Carrey fighting off the bad guys. Here we go. So we have uh, Milo the dog who's wearing the mask. Oh my god! That is a young Jim Carrey. And this is interesting. He's very young there. Because they actually crafted green makeup onto that dog. Yeah. Is that the dog from the movie? A young camera deal. A lot of weird looking gangsters. A lot of gunfire for a family. It's very loud. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Cameron Diaz, cool. <laughs> Did you miss me? So this movie was nominated for Oscar. Oh, it's funny because it's got holes in it from the gunshots. It's very I guess funny. Not. Oh, he's got a ponytail, but he just has, a ponytail. He has a bald head and a ponytail. Now you have to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well. Oh my that. god. Look at all those Punks. guns. The Clint Eastwood films are based on this. I heard that. I heard that. Ah. Uh, oh, uh, they didn't fire bullets, they fired <laughs> bang banners. That's actually why we brought you up. We wanted to know if you were yeah, a teammate. Right. We'll do a little, little poster to say bang. So this is my favorite way to solve a problem. <laughs> Swallow Un- the bomb. Uninjured jaw like an anaconda. Ooh, Ooh smoking. Was... That's respectable that's special effects. Spicy made the ball. And that's it. That's it. Wow, that's the clip. Wow, that's what do you clip. guys think of that clip? Makes yeah, that's a good fun. clip. That's a good clip. Dave, what do you think about that clip? I think you can't make something that's perfect better. Mm. We can try. That's the theme of the night, I think. <laughs> but yeah, you're lo right. and behold, the big Hollywood studios, they sent in this clip for punch up. So I mean, if I've got you understanding correctly, you're saying, you, Dave, uh, Dave Sawyer, are saying that <laughs> The Mask is equally as good as Star Wars 3 Revenge of the Sith? I think it might be the best movie of all time. What right. about The Mask 2? Son of the Mask. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> if we, Four people. <laughs> okay. If we had to choose something to improve mm. yeah. on this scene, or, uh, what, would, what would it be? Yeah. I, I would do a recasting. Oh, oh yeah, okay. absolutely. Interesting. Now, and ooh. Thoughts? Hollywood well, you know, recasting, folks, and you're getting a, a glimpse behind the curtain here. <laughs> it, it, ha- it has to happen sometimes. You've got to recast people. It happens. I mean, Jim Carrey's so funny and animated, but I, I'm a big Alan Rickman fan. I would have put him sure. right in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Because you know what? Sure. <laughs> sure. Does he play server Snape? Yeah. Is, yeah. Uh, well, I think he. I'm. I'd like to see Hans Gruber. Really, that's my. The, that's that, my Alan yeah. Rickman. All right. Well, that, that that's something I can get behind. Yeah. Right. Hans yeah. Gruber right. is Hans the, Gruber mask. As the mask. Absolutely. And also, let's change all the like settings and uh, context. <laughs> yeah. 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 I would say. Let's do that. Yeah. I because I mean, that. we have to make it better. Better. I mean, you know. Yeah. 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 All right. Okay. All right. Um. Uh, put it into a shopping mall, and you've. Got something. Oh, okay. Ooh, okay. 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 Yeah, all right. Okay, we open on a shopping mall. Fade in. Uh, Foot Locker. H- hello. 
Would uh, anybody like to buy some shoes? Uh, yeah. Do you have the new Air Jordans? Air Jordans. <clears throat> yes, uh, the Air Jordans. Uh, the, they're a popular, popular basketball shoe. I'll check the basement. <laughs> Uh, he has to do a retinal scan to get into the footlogger basement. Um, Voice recognition. It is me, Fernando. <laughs> Voice accepted. The first door opens. The first door. <laughs> there's, there's a second door where uh, uh, tongue print. A tongue print, <laughs> that's right. I will now extend my tongue. Uh, his tongue is very long. And green. And green, for and some green. reason. He's not wearing the mask, mind you, yet. No. <laughs> Access denied. Access denied. Ac- oh. Um, Fernando, um, you having some trouble there, buddy? The system will not give me the access that I require. <laughs> Look, Fernando, we, we do this every, every week, man. Like, you're getting, I get here from school, I come here after school, I'm your manager, and I'm just like, I have to keep resetting your password. Like, it's just a lot of work to put me through, you know? Who dressed you? I dress myself, and that's no way to speak to a superior, okay? What is a way to speak? You say, Mr. Uh, Jeremy, and you just, you speak like that. Okay, I would add more pauses. Fine, Mr. <sighs> Jeremy. Good. There's a customer waiting for some shoes. Fine, we'll just use my tongue print to get you in, but we, we're gonna have to talk about this afterwards. We could do our tongue prints together. Together? <laughs> okay, fine, yes. On the count of three, we will extend our tongues and touch them to the sensor surface. Of course. For One. Now. Two. I told you more pauses. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. One. One two. two <laughs> three. Their tongues intertwine with one another, going into the button together and opening all the doors. Oh my God. I have never been in this official foot locker. There are more shoes here than I have ever yeah. imagined. Sometimes I just come back here and I, people tell me, they're like, hey, can you, uh, you know, can you go get me this in a size 10? I'll just dick around here for 10 minutes and then come back and be like, sorry, we don't, but we totally do. This get back there and sell those shoes. This isn't the first shoe store that you've worked in, obviously. No, my dad owns a chain of shoe stores, not just Foot Locker. <laughs> he owns a series of different... So your father owns a chain of shoe stores. Yeah, and that means you he work here you. at Foot Locker. Yeah. You must have relationship issues with your father. Would you like to talk about I don't want to get into it, Fernando. Oh. Boy. <laughs> yeah. Dad, Where are before those you, new Air Jordans? Dad, before you say anything, I, I brought a friend from work, and I want... I friend talked, from work. I talked to him a lot, and you know he really opened my mind. And I think he could do the same for you. Okay, please just hear him out. Okay. This is highly unorthodox. Just, I don't use that word very often, boy. He does. He doesn't. He doesn't. He's a very orthodox bring your friend man. in here, Fernando. Just he, he's in here. Do you have a bubbly wine or sangria available? <laughs> 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 it just so happens I do. Uh, he grabs a uh, pitcher of sangria off the counter and pours two tall glasses of it. This is good. This is very good. Um, Fernando yeah. stretches out his tongue and sticks it in the glass and just laps up the... Uh, um, uh, uh, <laughs> access denied. <laughs> access denied. That which is denied is all the more desirable. <laughs> Access granted based on the poet clause. <laughs> See, Dad, I told you this guy was for real. Just hear him out. I think we may have met before. 
were you perhaps at the ballroom dance championships of 1974? <laughs> <laughs> Here I am. Ballroom dance 74. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I remember it well. You were good. What happened to you? I... I, I don't want to talk about it. Uh, someone broke my heart that night. Go on, but <laughs> pause more. <laughs> well, this individual... Good. ...meant a great deal to me. They came from a galaxy. Misa, what do you want? Fuck me, Jar Jar. <laughs> and and God. God. Wow. 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 That's what the mask needed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it needed a series of scenes not including the mask. <laughs> no, finally. Finally, Finally, a mask movie without the mask. the mask. Too much, too much mask in my. We opinion. can all agree that the mask has a little bit too much mask, right, we, folks? We were doing metaphor work. Yeah, metaphors. yeah, yeah. Metaphors. We, we went metaphors. very overt metaphors. with with Sif. We wanted to pull it back, and and Alan Rickman was showing people the mask that they wear to hide their true selves. That's right. Mm. That's correct. Very deep. Everyone, give it up yes. for Dave. Yes. Boom! I think we're at our final scene. We Should. sure are. We sure are. But before that, tongue. <laughs> yes. What uh, what kind of sneakers do you wear? I'm not wearing sneakers. Ah, good question. Yeah. Me then. Yeah. Solid yes ending to that. Sorry, one. I'm wearing. <laughs> I'm not wearing shoes. I'm wearing uh, boots. Are they boots? I can't look at them right now. <laughs> now, are those boots made for walking? Chris walking? Uh, that's a double. That's a classic Leslie double joke. And it, and it is horrible. It works every time. <laughs> Classic. It's never it works good. every time. It's never good. But, yes, I think it's time. You want to know it's always good? <laughs> Our next guest? Yeah. <laughs> These segues are really good. Folks, uh, <laughs> you saw her earlier tonight in the amazing duo K&M. Give it up for Kirsten Jason Voorhees <laughs> Rasmussen! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Woo! Oh, no music. Oh, music. Okay. No, no, music. music. That's part no, of music. No, no music. No music. No music. Okay. Well, it's high five. High five. Woo! We don't need music. What did you say was my middle name? Uh, Jason, Jason Voorhees. Voorhees. Jason Voorhees. We oh. all know that you've spent some time in Camp Crystal Lake. <laughs> Great. I know this reference. <laughs> 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 um, what's your, what? Uh, did you go to uh, camp as a, like a sleepaway camp? I did. I did. What was your favorite activity? What was my favorite activity? You know what? Lake swimming, I'm going to say. What about lake swimming's better? Well, it was just fun. The pool was fun also, but the lake, you could hide because it was murky. Murky. And sometimes you'd come up with a fun rash. And sometimes you maybe bump into a fish. Yeah, lake I like swims. That. I like that. <laughs> now, before we go any further, we've forgotten one crucial part of this. Oh, we uh -oh. have. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be an episode of Punch Up if we didn't demean um, the Beer Boy one more time. <laughs> that's correct. Oh, that's that right, is that's correct. Right. Yes. I mean, it is our first live episode. We yeah. have to. But uh, from what I understand, it's not the Beer Boy this time. Boochie oh, Boy. Boochie Boy. Boochie get boy. Boy. Let's get some kombucha kombucha. up here. Give it up for the kombucha Thank boy. You. Thank, oh, you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you kombucha boy. Yeah, that's the right one, right? Mm, I heard it's healthy pop. for you. <laughs> Boochie Pop, sponsor of the Please Ottawa Improv Festival. Give us money, Boochie <laughs> Pop. Delicious. Ooh. Um, Kirsten, we've... Uh, that's a nice boochie. Okay, sorry. <laughs> nice <laughs> boochie. solid boochie. You know, and I always, say, I, always, I always say this when Boochie Pop comes up. Um, I always say it like uh, Justin Timberlake singing Dirty Pop, where I go, Boochie Pop. And uh, that's just something I do. And that's it. I'm really that's, glad you shared that with us. Boochie Pop. Boochie Pop. Can we, I, like, I want to get that started. Boochie Pop. Is that how you do it? Boochie Pop. 
Booch pop. Can we get the audience to say it? Here we go. <laughs> uh, we'll get it clean. Get it clean. Clean. Because we're gonna clean send. It. We're gonna send this to clean Bucci it up, pop. folks. Clean audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clean now, now clean it up, you sick puppies. <laughs> All right, <laughs> and here we go. One, two, three. Booch pop. Beautiful. Oh, that was sexy. That's really, that was pretty yeah. good. That's actually. great. And and it sounded like less than five hundred thousand people, but I can assure you, it, it was totally that was a hundred five hundred thousand people. Oh yeah. yeah. I'd let I'd let Justin Timberlake say "Bucci pop" into my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all would. You right. open your mouth and then he says it into your mouth. Yeah, and he's that's a, the whole transaction. That's the whole. That's the whole conversation. He's a triple threat, right? Yeah. Singer, <laughs> dancer, <laughs> mouth, 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 actor, mouth, mouth guy. Worder. Yeah, uh, actor. My favorite movie in time. <laughs> yeah, all right. Unless we got a final clip, don't we? Yeah, we do have a cl- final clip, and it's not from uh, what was it? Uh, in time. In time. It's not Starring from in time. Just a Timberlake. Uh. <laughs> Boo! People are upset that it's not in time. No, no, no. This, uh, this, this last. It's a comedy. This oh. last clip. It's huh. a comedy. It's uh. one of the classic, classic comedies of our huh. time. Yeah. yeah. And uh, huh. it, it's just, it's just a real corker of a. Uh, of a, <laughs> it's it's just a comedic scene. There's take... gonna be laughs a minute. Okay, real and, corker. Uh, you know what? If I say too much more, it's gonna spoil the goddamn clip. You know what? I'm ready to laugh. So let's, let's, let's laugh. Get, let's, let's get into the clip. Let it cork, Leslie. <laughs> little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. Yeah, this, this is the funny part. <laughs> this is the funny part. This is well. This is the lead up to the funny part. Not by the hair on your chinny chin chin. Hilarious. Look at his eyes. Then I'll huff. And I'll puff. And I'll blow your house in. Nursery rhymes are inherently funny. <laughs> silence from the audience. <laughs> Complete silence. Mark of a good comedy. Because they're all laughing to the point where they can't vocalize. Can't breathe. That's correct. We should say, uh, you know, it's Jack Nicholson chopping down a door. It's chopping, he's chopping down a door. I just feel bad for her. Oh yeah, she was treated terribly. Great performance though. Struggle for your art, man. Struggle for art. A lot of meaty dialogue. And here comes the best part. This is where I bus up constantly. Here's Johnny! <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, God. Because remember The Tonight Show? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She got him. She got him oh, good. She got him. She, she got, got him. him. She got him good. That's it. That and that's, that's, it. that's the a... clip. What do you guys think? That's yeah. <laughs> so Very good. funny. So good. Classic movie, The Shining. I'll but have I think it's what garbage. she's having. It's a terrible scene. Yeah. It's a terrible scene. It's a terrible scene. Could use a little work. Could definitely yeah. use What is work. she having? I don't think I laughed once. I don't think anyone oh. did. That's the problem with this comedy. I'm... Because, yeah, it was billed as a comedy. <laughs> it's basically National Lampoon's The Shining. <laughs> yeah. And what? I feel like it was misrepresented. What's the actress's name again? I always just think of Shelley olive Duvall. oil. Shelly Duvall. Shelly Duvall. <laughs> I was just yeah. like, olive oil, you know. Yeah, she was olive oil, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I am what I am. Yeah. Well. <laughs> famous <laughs> olive oil quote. <laughs> yeah, the, the famous olive oil quote. Uh, what's, a, what's another famous olive oil quote? Uh, uh, give me some spinach, huh? No, that's Popeye. Yeah, Popeye would say that. Yeah, Popeye sure, sure, should sure, have sure, been sure, in sure. this movie. She goes, she goes, no, no, no. She goes, I'm a sailor man. Ah. Yeah, class of olive oil. That's Popeye. What, what was your biggest problem with that scene? <laughs> um, I feel like there wasn't enough sexual tension in it. <laughs> really? I think that's what's really the mark of a great rom-com, as this obviously is, right, this, yeah. is the sexual tension between two characters who you know eventually mm. are gonna have us some sex. Well, and these two have a kid, so you know they've at least had sex once. Well. Yeah. Or so I'm told. Jack Torrance fucks. <laughs> <laughs> that Mommy. sounds like spitting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy? Daddy? Are we in this thing now? Sorry, I ruined it. <laughs> no, no, no. Stay in this. Stay Mommy in this. Thing we'll, now. Ma- we'll tell him to go away. Stay in this. M- Mommy, Daddy, what are you doing? Uh, your dad is just showing me how to chop wood. Are you doing that role play thing again? I'm, I'm, uh, uh, I'll never go crazy. Mm-hmm. 
Not me. You're doing great. You're doing I great. love sex and your mom and you. Mm -hmm. And I'll never, never go, hey, I could use a bit of work. Uh, what about a big, uh, fun hotel, guys? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, it shuts down for winter, so <laughs> get this, buds. We drive up there, and, uh, it's really big, and there's no one around for miles, and <laughs> we just have a great time Doesn't together. Doesn't that sound great, I'm Tommy? Tired. Danny, it's Danny. Dang. I'm sorry, I don't like called you Tommy. I'm tired. I just want to go to bed. Oh, yeah, you, you could sleep in the car on the way up. Oh my or you can sleep forever, you little shit. <sighs> I love, I love how you talk to our child. <laughs> yeah, well, he's a weirdo because you're a weirdo. Anyways, oh my God. should we get into our our uh, station wagon? Yes, <laughs> yes. Give me a hand job on the way. I'm already doing it. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to watch this time. Danny, just close your eyes. I. Okay. Danny, play with your fingers. Yeah, play with your fingers, you little fucking Again? weirdo. Again? Okay. Talk to your finger, and your finger will probably talk back to you. Okay. So I'm guessing. Here I go. I'm going to talk to my finger. Hey, fingy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cut to. <laughs> the finger <laughs> bit me. <laughs> Go to the basement. They're in the basement where all the f food is. Oh, we're just supposed to do that scene. No, no, I'm no, doing stop the whole it. movie. Stop, yeah, no, stop yeah. moving. It's hard to give you a hand job when you keep walking around. <laughs> oh, no, I'm done with that now. I, okay, fine. I only talk to ghosts now, wife. What about me? I'm working on a novel. Hey, kid, you want to play with this cold meat? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were done with hand jobs. No, 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 burgers. There's burgers here. Kid, Mom, these are for you. Mom, you're being weird. I'm the dad. You're <laughs> yeah, I'm the mom. You always switch roles. <laughs> you, oh, God, I hate this kid. <laughs> let's leave him with the ghosts. Yeah, let's leave, let's leave him with the ghosts and <gasps> see what happens. I have a great idea for a novel. <gasps> Go write it. And she writes the greatest key. He Jack writes, Torrance God, writes. He writes God, the God, I'm sorry. God, I'm sorry. God. I, got the, I got fed the wrong information. I'm the narrator. <laughs> And he writes the greatest <clears throat> work of fiction ever told. And I'll then, have what she's having. Oh, I like that. That's got a good ring to it. I think it's going to be one of those classic movies. Anyways, I'd like to murder you now. Oh, itsy bitsy spider crawls up the water Oddly, spout. this is doing it for Down me. Down came the rain. I'm and into it this. the spider out. Out came our son. <laughs> out came our son. Yeah, I, were, I was there. He came out of me. <laughs> Didn't mean to kill the mood with that. Look. Cut, cut my hand. <laughs> cut, okay, yeah. I'm just going to. Danny. Just a little. Cut, cut my hand. <laughs> okay. Danny, cut your dad's hand. I this is important. Oh, wait. Here comes the ghost singing okay. a cool jazz number. Yep. Oh, it's me. <laughs> The phantom thread. <laughs> I'm here. Look at me. Whoosh. We see uh, Daniel Day Lewis uh, <laughs> accepting his Oscar award <laughs> for the phantom thread. Ah, uh, thank you. I'm very excited. It's a big honor Daniel, for Daniel, me. Daniel, just do your normal and voice. And what I would like to oh, say... Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. This isn't actually for you. This you, is going... Yeah. Uh, the uh, Oscar was actually supposed to go to Meg Ryan from When Harry Met Sally. I'll oh. have what she's having. Meg, get up here. Oh, my God. Meg, get up here. Yes. <laughs> oh, Daniel, Daniel, Day-Lewis, stop. Daniel, what is the You're not Meg Ryan. Daniel Day-Lewis, this, this, this is my award. This is my award. It's me, Meg Ryan. He does this every year. <laughs> He's pretty good at it. He's, it's not Meg bad. Ryan. He's winning me over. This is how he gets every it's award. Big Ryan. <laughs> Look, if we just give him like a small fake Oscar, he'll go away, right? Sure, sure. Here, Dan. I mean, Meg. This is for That's you. That's me, Meg Ryan. <laughs> um. Wow. What an honor. Hi, Mr. Daniel D. Lewis. We'd like to, uh, to approach you to do a master class on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> What are we talking about here? <laughs> <laughs> that was my shoes you just spit on. My new Air Jordans. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. Sorry. Uh, 
I love a, a good edit. Can I stop giving you a hand job now? <laughs> yes, you okay, can stop. Okay, thank you. My arm's tired. And then the- I might die in this maze. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we come back to the maze. Yeah, well, well you know, you should have thought of that before we started uh, role-playing in the maze. Do you think the guy who gave me this job knew that this would happen? I thought so. He seemed suspicious. So at the end of the day, he's like a sneaky murderer. I saw all these old pictures around the around the hotel that yeah. had you in them from like the 1950s. Well, that doesn't make sense. Right? Spoiler for Shining, by the way. Sorry, guys. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that guy hadn't seen it. That guy never seen it. That's oh, cool. boy. Anyways, no TV and no beer make Daniel Day-Lewis go something, something. <laughs> and and wow. Kirsten Rasmussen, and everybody! Give it a hand. Give it a hand. Uh, you, know, you know, if The Shining was anything, it was way too polished. So I'm glad we kind of, we brought that raw material yeah, in. Kept right. all of it. Wasn't faithful to the book anyway. Well, you know. Yeah. We Stephen really made King that into no a shit. rom-com. We yeah. Did. We did. Yeah. Uh, did everyone have a fun at the uh, have fun at the first live improv punch up? <laughs> thank you so much. We have a we have a couple of people to thank. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. thank let's thank DJ from Crybabies. Woo! Woo! Uh, uh, Dave from Big Bang. Yes. And Kirsten from K and M. Yeah. Give it up for our amazing guests. Uh, we have to thank uh, the man who has made this all possible all evening. Give it up for Ted in the Ted! booth, everybody! We love you, Ted! And last of all, of course, we want to thank the Ottawa, Ottawa Improv, Improv Festival for hosting us. Tongue, if, if the people, if, if there are new people in the audience, how mm. can they find the Improv Punch Up? What should they do if they want to listen to us more? The internet. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Full stop. Figure yeah, they're full stop the internet. We will be uh, releasing this episode on iTunes, Google, YouTube, uh, all that good stuff next week. Next, next week. week. Oh, nice. If you want to relive tonight, you can listen to this next week. <laughs> if you're listening to it as a new episode right now because you're listening to it on audio, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you for not being here. <laughs> Sorry, too much? All right, too much. Too back. much. Too much. Too much. <laughs> It's been a long night for these people. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, and you can, uh, if you like what you saw tonight, uh, come talk to us after the show. We'd love to talk more about podcasting and all that fun stuff. Uh, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter. We have all the social media. Facebook, yeah. Just search oh, for Pod Cavern. Just search yeah, just for Pod Cavern on uh, all the social media outlets. But guys, I think it's time to go to a little place I like to call a galaxy far, far away. Goodbye, everybody! The Improv Punch-Up is a Podcavern production. Special thank you to Kayla Morock for the amazing artwork and Johnny MacArthur for the awesome music. If you want to watch the clips we use along with us, check us out on YouTube. Or check out this and more podcasting goodness at podcavern.com. In the meantime, like, subscribe, review, and enjoy. Enjoy.